Alright guys, so we are here on Dokkan Battle, and we are looking at the three times only perform a multi-summit for 30 stones instead of 50. So this is the category system launch celebration summon. Uh, there are a lot of characters on here, right? And there is an SR that Dokkan awakens into a category lead. We're going to talk a little bit about him and a little bit about the cards, and then we're going to do the three multi-summons on here for the guaranteed SSRs. And yes, this is actually a really good deal for majority of us. If you're an OG player like me, chances are you don't really need to go and summon on this because you probably have all these characters because they are... They're not easily obtainable, but they're more common. Uh, it's just hardest to pull if you have hunted for cards before. So uh, let's go ahead and talk about it real quick. I also have the dbz.space summons page up right now as well to talk about the actual summoning in the banner. Uh, first thing I did want to state before we go start going over the cards, all of the LRs are available on this banner. That's why it's kind of, you know good to summon on it and it is a guaranteed SSR as I stated earlier which makes it even that much better so uh, the, the rates on this banner actually I can go over here I'm on the actual summons page right now uh, for dbc.space slash summons uh, the SSRs the LRs I'm sorry the LR cards have a 0.04 to 0.03 percent pull rate Goku Black has noted to be at 0.024 don't expect to pull any of them they have abysmal rates the only time that the um, you know to hunt the LR is if it's a featured banner like the LR Goku Black right now. Personally, as much as I like LR Goku Black's card art, I don't. I think his card itself is underwhelming. That's why I didn't go for him. The card art's awesome. I would love to have it. Plus, he is a good unit. He hits hard. But uh, overall, I, it's underwhel um, underwhelming for what I would like in that unit. But if I pulled him, I would not be upset. Anyway, let's go ahead and talk about this. Uh, we have this Strength Gotenks, he's a good unit, he Doken Awakens to a very good unit, I don't, I don't have that information open by the way, so um, I'm not going to be going over other Doken Awakens and stuff like that. Uh, he's a good unit, if you're pulling, if you're a new player and you just started this game, this might be worth it for you to pull just so that way you can get some SSRs if you don't have good ones, there, because like this guy, he's a really good unit, he hits hard, his passive skill is attack plus 70% when facing only one enemy, which most of the time that you need good units is going to be up against Dokkan bosses, so he is going to become really viable. He should Dokkan Waken when the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks physical event comes out. Um, his leader ability is kind of whack, but other than that, yeah, he's pretty cool. This physical Gotenks is like a staple on so many teams. He is a staple. Well, no, I don't want to say staple, but he is really good on a Fusions category team because he does seal and he links very well. His passive skill when he Dokken Awakens is attack plus 100% up, which makes him really good. And I believe when he Dokens, he also does all types key plus three. Uh, this Gotenks, the, all the Gotenks actually Dokken Awaken, by the way. The base form Gotenks, they all will have a farmable unit so you can get them all the super attack 10 without a problem don't increase their super attacks if you pull dupes feed them into the dupe system that's what i did want to say about that his attack is going to I believe when he doken awakens his attack is attack plus 77 percent and then a plus an additional 33 percent when he's the first attacker in turn pretty sure that's how his will work and he keeps supreme damage so he becomes very viable right now not so much but he will be the agility one uh, I forgot what he dokens into with his passive skill. I'm pretty sure it's 15%, but don't quote me on that. He becomes a decent unit. I believe his link skills will make him a little bit more viable on certain teams. Uh, again, these two are not going to be too crazy. One of these Doken Wakens, I believe the agility one Doken Wakens into a Super Saiyan because there's already Super Saiyan strength one. So this one will Doken Waken into a Super Saiyan, which makes him a little bit more viable on certain teams. Uh, the Sin Shenron obviously is going to be Omega Shenron's best linking buddy. Uh, you're going to want him especially on a mono physical team if you have a physical Omega Shenron. With the obviously the banner is for category leaders, he's going to fit on an Omega Shenron team. Uh, one thing I did want to state, obviously all the fusion characters do link very well together. It actually kind of goes hand in hand with the other characters uh, that are available on that fusion banner. Because the other fusion banner, which we're not going to talk about here, is going to uh, has a lot of units that are good on a fusions team, with the, which is the Super Saiyan 4 Goku lead. Or a Gogeta lead. This Trunks can be viable on a Super Saiyan 4 Goku team because he does have Super Saiyan and GT. And his passive skill when he Dokken Awakens is his attack plus 100%. He does get outshined by other units in the future and some now. So he won't always be a staple. But if you are a newer player, he is not a bad unit whatsoever. This Pan is a really good support unit. She is attack and defense plus 30% when she Dokken Awakens when HP is 30% or above. So she, I mean, you're almost never going to get under 30%. Once you do, you're going to use, like, you know, uh, Sensu Bean. So she does become a very good support unit um, to have off rotation. So, you know, don't underrate her. Pan isn't the most favorite character in the in the series, but she's a good unit. 
uh, no Nuevo Shenron or Nueva Shenron is not really a great unit at all. A little bit self-reliant. I believe Dokken awakened into a better unit, but overall not a great unit. Um, he will run well on an Omega Shenron team. Team, if you don't have the Sin Shenron and you have this, this will link a little bit better with the Omega Shenron, which increases the suit, well, you know, link skills and everything for uh, attack damage output because they he is um, self-reliant. It makes it easier to get off super attacks. Uh, I, I wouldn't run them on a team unless you don't have, you know, another unit to run or if you're running just the Shadow Dragon team. Plus, he increases his own attack for three turns when he launches a super attack. Who knows? I, I don't know what the max damage is. I don't use them, so I couldn't tell you. I just don't think it's worth it. I hate that passive on the super attacks, where it, which increases attack for a specific amount of time. Uh, anyway, Majub, when he Doken Awakens, he Doken Awakens with an attack buff, I believe, of like 10,000 or something like that. Not Still not a great unit, but good to have if you don't have any GT units. And this is the SR I was talking about. He's a little bit more common. He is a category lead. Uh, he has, actually, I'll talk about him right now. And this is a little bit different of a video that I, I'm doing just because I usually do a screen recording. But because I'm going to do summons, it just makes it easier to have my phone open. <laughs> so this guy is Omens of Awakening Super Saiyan 2 GT Goku. Um, he is a Shadow Dragon Saga leader with key plus 1 HP and attack plus 30%. He does extreme damage and raises allies attack by 20 for one turn. His passive skill, Thrill of Battle, Technique and Physical Type key, key plus 2 and attack plus 15%. So he is a really nice support unit on a physical team and a tech team. Or a Shadow Dragon team, obviously, but it only for specific type units. Link skills are Golden Warrior, Command Maya, Super Saiyan, All in the Family, and GT. Shadow Dragon Saga, I'm not going to go over max stats. 12 key multiplier of 130%. He Dogen Awakens with 21 Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta medals. Now, the card isn't actually available here, but because, you know, it's just Dogen Awakening. Uh, but he Dogen Awakens in a new possibility, Super Saiyan 3 Goku GT. The leader ability when he Dogen Awakens is Shadow Dragon Saga, Category Key plus 2, HP and Attack plus 50%. Now, the one thing I do want to state about this, um, Shadow Dragon Saga, yes, okay, I can see it being a little bit more of a viable leader skill. But if you're looking for the Fusion Dance category and you don't have the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, don't settle for the subpar leader abilities. Um, if there are any, I, I forgot if there is actually a Fusion leader other than Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. But if you don't have him, you know what's really good? The Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, and if you have Super Vegito Blue. Vegito Blue, he is a fusion character. He gives all super types key plus 3 HP attack and defense plus 50% when Doken Awaken. And he's a fusion character. So obviously you're only going to be able to run heroes, but most good fusion characters that you're going to want to run are heroes anyway. So that's a good person to put in place if you don't have that Super Saiyan 4. And then your overall stats are going to be uh, HP attack and defense plus 200% and key plus 6 overall between the two of them, which is better than not having them at all. I mean, obviously, if you have a 120 leader, you're probably going to be a little bit better. But because you can run a rainbow team with that, it makes it a little bit more viable. Anyway, um, he Doken Awakens into uh, the Super Saiyan 3 Goku that I said before, which means you can feed him into the Strength Goku if you want to, or you can just get him to Super Protect 10 and Doken Awaken him and feed some two pads if you have that. Uh, supreme Damage he now gets. He will have a passive skill, Vitality of, of Combat Tech and Physical Key plus 2 and Attack plus 25%. Uh, link skills are going to be Golden Warrior, Kamehameha, Super Saiyan Over and Flash GT, Limit Breaking Form, and Fierce Battle, so he does get Fierce Battle, which makes him good on a Super Saiyan 3, or sorry, I'm on a physical team for that Fierce Battle link, and he has max stats of HP of 86.55, attack of 73.13, and defense of 35.31, 12 key multiplier of 135%, not that great, but I mean, you know what, not that bad for an uh, Doken Awaken SSR from an SR. So that's that, guys. That is everyone that who is here. Now, in terms of what I'm looking for, um, I mean, don't get me wrong. I really hope I get at least one of these Super Saiyan 2 Goku GTs. Um, we're doing three multi summons, so I hopefully will get one. Um, nu Nuevo, uh, nu Nuova, Nova Shen no, Nova Shenron. <laughs> Nova Shenron is going to be, uh, you know, I would like him for some deep pass, but I'll never use him. Uh, Pan I already have maxed out. This Trunks I'll never use. Sin, Sin Shenron's already maxed out. Go, all the Go Tanks, I would like, especially the physical one, but I would like all the Go Tanks. So that's my goal here. And, you know, there is a chance of an LR. Don't really think it's going to happen, but let's go ahead and jump into the summons. We got three multi summons to go. Sorry for the long winded video. I just wanted to go over all the cards so you know if it was worth it or not. A little bit non standard of my video to do both of them in one sitting, but let's go ahead and do it. So we have four pods right now. All right, we have base form, no rainbow, goes instant Super Saiyan. All right, we got Super Saiyan 1, Super Saiyan 2, no Super Saiyan 3, but we know we're getting a guaranteed SSR here. The next one we're going to do is going to be a group summon, so if you want to summon with me, get your phones ready. 
any game you want to play, if it's Naruto Blazing, if it's, I don't know if Duel Links does summons, Do Dokkan Battle, JP Global, or Bleach Brave Souls, whatever game you want, go ahead and pull it out and do a summon with me. Jocko, we hate you. <laughs> Some crappy Yamcha. Alright. Oh, look at that. Okay, I think I just needed one more. Um, I'll have to check after after this summon to see what I got. Um, of him, anyway. The Nova Shenron. Dr. Jiro, we don't want him. Super Saiyan Vegeta. I haven't... I, I, I've honestly been thinking about getting... Oh, Tora. Uh, I'm thinking about getting the Super Saiyan Vegeta up to Super Attack 10, the old school tech one, because, you know, you can with those with those SR variants. I've just been feeding him into Baba Shop, though. Oh, by the way, uh, usually how guaranteed SSR works means if you get any SSRs before the last one, you're still guaranteed one, so we should have one more SSR left at the end of the pull. Alright, so we have Android 16. Oh, yes, that's exactly what I wanted. A Gotenks. Oh, two. Oh, shh. Yes. All right, cool. We got two Gotenks there. Uh, that was a slip of the hand for getting both of them, but I'm really happy about that. Um, so this Gotenks is also farmable. The Goten and the Trunks, the Super Saiyan Goten and Trunks, it's the Intelligence Trunks and the Technique Gotenks, Super Saiyan SR variants. Doken Awaken into Gotenks and you could increase his super attack. Um, so that's really worth it, in my opinion. You get him up to Super Attack 10 before you Doken Awaken him. Uh, anyway. Yeah, this is awesome. Really happy I got him. Let's see, I don't even know if I had him before. Let's go take a look. Uh, strength, super... I don't know if he Doken Awakens yet, so... So that's him. I don't think I... I think I didn't have this one, actually. I'm pretty... Well, I, well why is Intelligence still here? Get out of here. Did I have that Gotenks? Um, I don't... Oh, there he is. Okay, cool. So we have three of them. Okay, cool. So I have three of him, and I don't think I have any two pads unlocked of him. I might. But okay, cool. So that's awesome. So let's go ahead and do a group summon together, guys. Uh, let's see here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and jump into a group summon. What we typically do is we go to countdown from three, go three, two, one, and then on. when I say release, that's when we release. All right, let's go ahead and do this, and we will see. And you know what? I'll have one more summon after that. I'll do a YOLO on the LR Goku Black Banner. <laughs> Unless I pull him, which I'm not going to, but whatever. Five. Ooh, six. Ooh, we got seven pods. Okay. Now, that is not indicative of getting an SSR outside of the last one, but I might get one before the last one, so I'm hoping. All right. Let's go ahead. I'll put my finger on the phone. We're going to pull down, and we're going to do three, two, one, release. All right. So, he went Super Saiyan. I wonder if he's going to go Super Saiyan 3. Got Super Saiyan 2. No Super Saiyan 3. But we got seven pods, which is GSSR. I'm hoping that GSSR comes before the last one as well. <laughs> That would be pretty freaking awesome. That would be pretty hyped. I hope I... You know what I really want? I want that Fiscal Gotenks. I really want that Fiscal Gotenks. You know what's funny? I just noticed I didn't get the new SR Goku. <laughs> I'm going to be really upset if I don't get it. Wow, Chiaotu comes over to destroy my summon. I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> so much. What is this? Okay, this Trunks. I think I already have all of his dupes on lock. Um, I'll use it to feed him up for his super attack increase. I, I've been feeding the Agility SSR ones when I get them. So you awaken them, I know, Zenny, Elder Kai's, whatever, but I want him to super attack 10 before I Doken awaken him, because I won't really utilize him too often. But that's cool, I got another SSR. TN. So for cards, my rule of thumb when it comes to cards is to um, make sure that I don't... Uh, I do top left dupe path, and then I feed super attack up to like a super attack 10, and then do bottom right dupe path. That's usually the route I go. Alright. Jocko... And Bobbity. By the way, I want to apologize for earlier today's, or yesterday's video. This is probably going to go up on Tuesday. I want to apologize for yesterday's video. The audio quality was kind of crappy. You might get a little bit of bad audio quality now, because I'm looking at my screen whenever I pause. That's why I paused a little bit earlier. Uh, I noticed there was a little bit of a wider gap, which is supposed to be a flat line. So you might get a little bit of a noise, you know, disturbance in there. All right, let's see. Shishami. Oh, sweet. All right, cool. I don't know how many of these I have now, so we'll have to go and double check, see what I get. Okay, not bad. So I got two more SSRs, which is really good. All right, guys, this is going to be the last one. Let me know what you guys pulled down in the comments below. Um, let me know if you guys got had any luck compared to me. All right, guys, last summon. Here we go. Category summon. Well, look at how it says category summon. That's freaking awesome. Okay, ten characters with this summon. Oh, yes, I know. Thank you, sir. All right, last one. Can I pull a dupe Majita? <laughs> so that would actually be pretty freaking hyped if I got a, a fourth uh, Majin Vegeta agility. 
Alright, so we got Hercule on the right, I believe it was. We got Super Saiyan. No pots. Super Saiyan 2, can we go 3? Ah, uh, no 3. Alright, oh well. And oh, I first realized, another one without an SR freaking Goku. What the hell, really? I'm sure some of you got nothing but those Gokus, like four of them in one pull. <laughs> just can't get one. I always like the new SRs, they're always fun to have. Alright, Jice. Master Roshi. The Doria. I hate this. I hate this card art of the Doria. It's just weird. <laughs> this is the eye, that's what it is. Okay, nice. No Nova Shenron. Ugh, alright. Let's see. Dr. Jiro. That means I'm going to have another SSR at the end. Zarbon. Gokua. And another Nova Shenron. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure that means I could... Oh, wait. There's another... Wow, okay. Cool. And Maju. Alright. That's awesome. That's good to know. Um, so that's freaking pretty hyped, actually. I don't think I... Did I... Ha... Uh, I did have a Maju. Alright. So let's go ahead and take a look at my Nova Shenron real quick. Alright. So... We're going to go pick a character. And you know what? We actually already on this, so let's go ahead and open up the rest of the two paths. Okay, cool. So actually, I think that's exactly what I have is three. And since he is farmable, and I think his do- oh no, I only had two of them. But I think his do path is actually going to be really good when he do can awaken. So that's really- you know what? While that's happening, I'm going to go on the uh, wiki right now. I'm just going to go look up go tanks, and it's going to bring me to this ambiguation. But I want to take a look at his base form. All right, cool. So there's that one. What else did I get here? Uh, did I get? I forgot. Did I get the other? Oh, I did get the other Go Tanks, the Super Saiyan Go Tanks. Oh, okay, so his ultra rare version does Doken Awaken into another base form. His super attack, all allies attack plus twenty percent for one turn. His passive skills attack plus seventy seven percent at the start of the turn, and an additional twenty three percent as the first attacker. So yeah, that that was correct. That's exactly correct. Is what I said before. Alright, so let's see over here. Where is that other Go Tanks, the Super Saiyan one that I had? This one. So I think I have two left. So I have the top left and bottom right two paths unlocked. He is farmable, so I don't need to worry about it. So we're going to do the top right because I don't need to worry about his defense. Because he's not going to be a blocker. He's not a tanker. His defense is not that great. <laughs> That's awesome. I just need one more of him. Uh, we're going to go over to the Tech Nova Shenron. And where are you, Nova? Nova? There you are, Nova. Oh, I already have all Dupes unlocked, so Nova Shenron gets trained up. <laughs> Alright, so Nova Shenron, we have three of you bad boys. What are we at? We're at Super Attack 2, so now we will be at Super Attack 5. There we go. Alright, I'm not upset with that. I know some of you are probably looking at me cringing. Uh, that's perfectly fine. What I usually do is I if I don't use Elder Kai's on a lot of cards. That's why I have so many saved up from those LR Gohan summons that I did. Uh, this card... Any SSRs that I get, get them to Super Attack 10. Once they're Super Attack 10, all four Dupes unlocked, then I bother them because there's no reason in keeping them. So I'm happy about that. I think... Is there no... I, I don't know. Um, also, I got the Agility one. We're going to go back over here to the Agility one for the Agility Go Tanks just to take a look and see what, what he... I know he goes into a Super Saiyan. When the Agility one, Doken, awakens, he is attack plus 15% per key orb obtained. Supreme damage. All right, cool. Uh, Majin Buu Saga, Hybrid Saiyans, and Fusion. Yeah, oh, that's right, he is decent on a Fusions team. Or, I'm sorry, on a Hybrid Saiyans team for agility characters. Uh, the only thing that stinks is the two base form Super Saiyan, or well, the SSRs of the Super Saiyan Gotenks that Doken Awaken from those Goten and Trunks, only 50%. Which kind of stinks. But, whatever, he does get a free Super Attack 10, so once that event comes around. Where are you? Here you are, look at that. There we go. And because he will have a farmable, we're going to do the bottom left. Not, I do not have an identical character. I didn't pull one? I thought I pulled one. I could have sworn I pulled one. Right, SSRs. Okay, no, I didn't. Majube and Goten. Or Trunks, I'm sorry. They're probably both pissed off at me now. <laughs> they can't be pissed off at you. They're cars. They're inanimate objects. Oh, well. Alright, so we're looking for Majube. And I think Majube actually... I don't know if he has a farm... Oh, no, he doesn't have a farmable super tag. I was thinking, because I remember watching, I think it was Rhyme Style's videos, where he did pull nothing but them, and he had, like, all four Dupes unlocked Super Attack 10 for that card, and he just loathed it so much. Oh, <laughs> um, it wasn't that one. Where are you? What, I feel like I just passed it, and y'all are, like, screaming at me right now. Here you are. Alright, he's at Super Attack 3. Now he's at Super Attack 4. All right. 
Time for some training. Because I already have the two pads unlocked for this one. All right. And this is going to be a little bit longer video, by the way. You guys, if you guys are stuck around, you know, thank you, appreciate it. Let me know. Uh, I don't know what you should hashtag. I mean, <laughs> hashtag potential. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, shoot. All right, cool. Well, we're going to find one more Majub, and then we will end off the video. Once we find the Majub, we can go ahead and uh, take a look to see. Yeah, I think I just want to show this real quick. Oh, crap. I actually need two do paths unlocked with him. Oops, I just used that one as do path. Oh, well. I don't care. Because <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to use the bottom right until we get Super Attack 10. Anyway, where is my Majub? Do I have Majub at uh, Z Awakening yet? Huh, I don't have Majub Z Awaken. Interesting. Alright, cool. Well, I'm going to do that in a different video, guys. But anyway, thank you for joining me here today. Let me know what luck you guys had when you did summons on this banner. Uh, did you pull anything good? Did you get any LRs? Um, oh yeah, you know what we didn't do? We didn't do... You know what? Hashtag YOLO. If you guys stuck around, because I didn't do my YOLO summon. So go ahead and hashtag YOLO down below. Alright, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do one YOLO summon on the Legendary Summon Banner. Oh man, I would love to pull Goku Black, because I want to shout out my boy Steve so bad. <laughs> Three pods, rainbow, Super Saiyan. Alright, let's see what we got here. <laughs> Super Saiyan 1, Super Saiyan 2, can we go 3? No, 3. Oh well. A lot of you guys did pull them on YOLO, and I'm not going to be that lucky though. Nope, just Android 16. <laughs> if you watch this video, I'm going to get a big laugh at work. Anyway, guys, that's it. Thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. If you liked this uh, version of me doing card and banner reviews instead of me doing a full banner review on my computer and then doing summonings in a separate video, let me know in the comments below. I definitely plan on easing up on the summons. I need to. But uh, let me know if you like this down in the comments below. Uh, anyway, thank you for joining me here today. I'll catch you guys later.